do know that crematophobia is a fear of money. People who suffer from it have symptoms like dizziness, dry mouth, and poverty. I'm Regan Burns, and I'm a sufferer of crematophobia. A fear of being on camera. <laughs> stop that. Seriously, stop that. I'm not kidding. Mommy! I'm John Mashita, and I know that crematophobia is a fear of being buried alive. Now, this is extremely common, especially among men, if they're older, wealthy, and dating Anna Nicole Smith. <laughs> Who's got it right? Find out tonight on Balderdash! Starring Elaine Bootler! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to balderdash. Balderdash, as we all know, is a word that means, hmm, that story sounds kind of funny. And happily we have with us tonight three people whose stories are always funny. Give it up for our good friend, John Ratzenberger. <laughs> Regan Burns. And John Moshita. It just so happens John Ratzenberger did have the true answer to our first question tonight. Chromatophobia is a fear of money. I can't imagine who would have that, <laughs> but uh, a fear of not having money, maybe. Uh, our other two stars were full of balderdash, and that's your job tonight. Our contestants have to figure out who may be telling the truth and who may be full of balderdash. A correct balderdash wager pays off at one to one. A correct bet on the truth pays off at two to one. And to get you both started on your big betting, we're going to give you 250 points apiece. And to help you decide how much you want to bet in this first round, I will tell you that our first category tonight is Before They Were Stars. Before They Were Stars. So lock in your wagers and choose either Taruth or Balderdash. Robert? I bet Hi. 215 points on Balderdash. You did? I did. Well, good. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Cindy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go for 183 oh. on the truth. We're back to those round numbers panel. Here we go. Before they earned their fortunes on screen, many stars had to earn money in unusual ways. See if you can separate the truth from the balderdash as we start with the fabulous John Ratzenberger. That would be uh, uh, Robert De Niro. He uh, actually worked in a beauty salon. And even then, he was so dedicated to his craft that he... Uh, Put on 30 pounds. <laughs> okay, John Ratzenberger says Robert De Niro worked in a beauty salon. What does the eye candy in the middle have to say? <laughs> well, Elaine. Yeah. The eye candy yeah. uh, happens to know that Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, my personal trainer, <laughs> um, <laughs> when living in Austria before coming to the United States, worked as a bellhop in a hotel. Yes, he could actually carry 20 bags of luggage in one arm, keeping the other arm free for groping. Yes! <laughs> hey, our announcer, John Mashita, is on our panel tonight. We're so excited. Hello, hello, hello. But you know, Lane, I happen to know that the, the correct answer to this is that Warren Beatty was a rat catcher at the National Theater in rat? Washington. Rat, rat, catcher? rat, like a, like you know, eat the cheese catcher. Really? At the uh, yeah, so I, I admit it That's freely. That's a job. It is a job. You know, it's a tough job, but somebody's got to do it. It was at the National <laughs> Theater in Washington D.C. And he actually was quite good at it. He caught 57 in one night. All he did was he just stood there and he waved campaign contributions. And all those other comments and came scurrying right out there. Another Karen Balance dancer. Okay, let's recap because uh, a lot's going on here. John Mashita says Warren Beatty was a rat catcher. Regan Burns says Arnold Schwarzenegger was a bellhop. And John Ratzenberger says Robert De Niro worked in a beauty salon. So, truth, balderdash, pick a star. Hi, Robert. I decided to go with Balderdash. <laughs> I know. And I chose John Ratzenberger. Because you didn't believe him? I don't believe Robert De Niro can use a, you know, clipping shears on someone's hair and be calm about it. Without you know? cutting their hair. Without cutting their hair. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay, Cindy. And I went with John Machito and Warren Beatty because I think Warren started hanging out in theaters. And so catching the rats early on might have... Yeah, okay, so from now on, just tell me who you picked. I don't want to hear why. <laughs> Okay, let's see who had the real job. Oh, it was John Machine. That's pretty darn good for you. At a 
two to one payoff for truth that brings you all the way up to 616 and that brings you to 465 not too shabby some good playing going on here we'll be right back for some more right after this we'll be back with more balderdash